What's up everybody and Team Elevate, hope all is going well. It's good to see you guys. I thought it would be really fun to make a quick little video for our team from Las Vegas. Um, you know, I would love to hear what you guys are doing, kind of an update on how things are going and um, how you're dominating and elevating your business every single day. So uh, I thought it would be cool to make a little video and text it to everybody um, since, you know, we don't have common uh, uh, regular contact. So I thought that would be cool if we start having a little more contact and we use our little uh, text group as a way to help elevate each other and help uh, encourage each other and help uh, you know, uh, pat each other on the back for a great job and, and really uh, hold each other accountable and all those great things that, you know, uh, having an accountability system does. Um, I'll tell you guys real quick a really cool story of something that's happened to me since Business Mastery. A couple of you might already be aware of it, but uh, I have been grinding the hell out of, out of business since Business Mastery. I have been hustling, I've been dominating, I have been elevating in every way that I can. So most of you who are around me at Business Mastery know that Jay Abraham is my favorite business strategist in the entire world. I, I'm pretty sure I kept raving probably obnoxious, obnoxiously before Jay got on stage. I went up there to you know ask Jay a question. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. But I said, you know what? I said, I've got to have this guy in my life. I've got to figure out a way to get close to this guy because as Tony says, uh, proximity is power. The closer you are to the source, the more power you have and the more you could use that source as leverage to get other things in the world. So here's a really cool story and, and I just want to tell this story not to lift me up but really to show you guys what's possible if you just leverage everything you can and you're constantly grinding it out every day. So this is a story for you, not a story for me. Um, so you know we went to Business Mastery uh, you know a month ago or so and, um, and we had a great time, I listened to Jay. I tried to see if I could get back to the table and talk to Jay, I wasn't able to, but I struck up a conversation with, with one of his guys, his name was Rob. So me and Rob struck up a conversation. I told Rob I had a very unique question for Jay. I had to, I had to tell Rob something that would get me into Jay, uh, into contact with Jay. So I said, Rob, I have a unique question that nobody's ever asked Jay, I guarantee it. And I guarantee it would trip him up to where he would love to answer it because he loves complexity. He loves, you know, uh, getting questions because I'm sure he gets the same questions almost every day. This is a question he's probably never, ever had. Rob was so intrigued by my enthusiasm and, and what the question was. So I told Rob what the question was. And, and he was like, wow, I bet Jay would love to answer that. And I bet he would be intrigued and I doubt he's ever been asked that. So Rob said, um, so I said, okay, great, Rob, let's go backstage right now. I was very aggressive. I said, take me backstage, we'll ask Jay right now. Because once again, I wanted to meet Jay and get to know him and have him in my life. Well, Rob said, sorry, he's already left. We can't do that yada yada i have to man the table back here so i said okay you have to give me something so rob gave me his personal email address okay so over the next two weeks um which was just a few weeks ago i had spent time emailing rob back and forth well me and rob really struck a chord to where jay ended up jumping on the email conversation and um and we just had this three-way email conversation back and forth that ended up being great just about a lot of random stuff really not not all to do with business but uh jay and rob and i struck a really cool chord to where jay said you know what judd do you want to hop on a coaching call and i finally said when i saw that email i was just literally jumping up and down in my house i was telling my wife oh my god it's happening you know and it's all because i was just pushing myself and leveraging everything i could you know and um and and so i said sure let's do a coaching call so we actually did a coaching call last week now i know you guys remember from business mastery jay charges fifty thousand dollars for a coaching call okay jay obviously didn't charge me fifty thousand dollars i don't have fifty thousand dollars to give so um jay did this call completely free we had to, such a great time on the call that when we got done jay said you know what let's do another call in a few weeks i want to catch up with you see how things are going i want to see what you're putting into place and stuff like that so um so we've actually got a coaching call scheduled for next week well over the last few days jay and his partner rob emailed me and asked me if i would like to come to jay's house personally stay at his house for three days and be a part of a very small private mastermind at his house on the beach in capistrano california guys i cannot tell you 
how elated I was when I found out this news. And I said, absolutely, I'm in. I don't care what it involves. I don't care if there's a cost involved or whatever. It's only, he said there's only five entrepreneurs and they do this every year, once a year, and that regulars have been people like Tony Robbins, Richard Branson, uh, guys, uh, Paul Allen, you know, different, uh, very successful entrepreneurs, Damon John from Shark Tank, have all been to this private um, get together with Jay. And he invited me to the get together. And I am just blown away because I feel like I'm a very small time guy compared to all these giants. But once again, proximity is power, guys. This is possible even for the average person, you know. I'm not flying on my G5 today. I'm not, you know, running around in my Bentley. I'm at a coffee shop doing some work, but yet I'm the one who has leveraged myself into a position to get to hang out with Jay Abraham and get to be close to him, source. And I know that he will grow my business two or three times over just from his, his in-depth knowledge of the last 40 years of being in business. So anyways, I want to send that to you guys as an encouragement to say, look, you know, anything is possible. And I know people say anything is possible, but it truly is anything is possible. Since I got that uh, email from Jay, since I've been talking to Jay and stuff like that, I've been interviewed on two different pod business podcasts because they go, you know what, if you're close to Jay Abraham and y'all know each other and you've been talking, we want you on because Jay Abraham's the man, so you must be important, you know? And it's funny how that leverage works. Um, I've also been asked to co-author a book uh, uh, from a person who, uh, helped Stephen Covey wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, uh, and he's writing what he guarantees will be a New York Times bestseller. So I've been asked to be one of the authors in the book. There's a handful of authors, and to tell my story of entrepreneurship and my story of healing and, and my strategy that I use. And so anyways, just amazing things have come about, and I expect to keep leveraging that into more and more higher positions. And hopefully you guys soon will be seeing me doing bigger and bigger things. And I wanna say that, you know, look around you guys. I challenge you to look around you today and see what you can leverage. Try to figure out what you can do to take what you have and leverage yourself or your business to the next level and where you wanna be. Because chances are you have plenty of stuff all around you whether it be assets, intellectual property, whatever, you have plenty of stuff all around you to leverage yourself to the next level. So why not do it? All it takes is your execution. So go out and execute today. Uh, send us praise stories, guys. Please record videos, audio, text, whatever. Send us stuff in this text message thread. Uh, this video might be too large. I might have to email it. But anyways, uh, talk to you guys later. Great meeting you at uh, Business Mastery and let's all elevate and dominate together. Peace out.